Hello everybody and welcome to a new-ish series, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. I just kind of got a craving to play Binding of Isaac again. It's been like with the with Repentance coming out sometime soon. I don't know if there's a release date at this point, but it's coming out soon. I just want to get back in the swing of things before it comes out. It's been a long time since I've played, but I love this game. I love Enter the Gungeon, Binding of Isaac. There's a lot of similarities between the two. The overlap in the player base is pretty huge. So a lot of people who know Enter the Gungeon, I'm sure, know Binding of Isaac as well. Uh, I'm going to be starting a new file. I've got these other ones. I, I think I just... One of them is downloaded to have like an even file for a race episodes, but... We're going to do a brand new file. We're going to just start from the ground up. A lot of people are brand new here. We are starting a new file, so that way everybody's just... We're all on the same page again. We're all starting this again together. I could do a normal run. I could do a hard mode run. I don't remember too much of the differences between them. I know that the hard mode is going to be harder. Uh, I believe there's a lot more like curses on the floor, like random modifiers to make the game harder. Let's just, for the sake of getting back into the swing of things, because it's probably been at least a year since I've launched this game. Oh, it's good to be back. Oh, it's good to be back in the Binding of Isaac. It's like riding a bike, right? Hopefully. Second most played game on my Steam after Enter the Gungeon, but anyways, for I'll, I'll try not to be like completely baby ah, talking it. Oh boy. Oh boy. What a good start. Because uh, I, I'm sure like most people know what's going on, but we got an active item here. I can't remember what is this, Anarchy Cookbook? Okay, we might just have uh, blown ourselves up, we'll see. Okay, well that worked out better than it should have. Anyways, Binding of Isaac. Oh my goodness. I, I, yeah, I've got, uh, I've got hundreds and hundreds of hours in this. What is it, E to drop a bomb? Should I have dropped a bomb? Probably not. But I just want to give, <laughs> I don't know, I want to get, get in the swing of things again. We have no blanks, we have no dodge rolls, we got, we got none of that. We're just going through fresh. We're going to be having like a whole bunch of like gar garbagey items, I'm going to guess. No teleporters. No teleporters. Okay. Well, let's clear the floor. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. At the very least, let's get our item room. Of course. Of course. We got to do that. We got golden poop. Lots of mun. Hookworm. That's the weird zigzaggy shot. And it gives us shot speed up or shot is it fire rate I think that's fire rate so I guess it is a it's a good idea to have it how to jump it's kind of like should we we playing gungeon boys we playing gungeon boys oh shoot I think I'm I don't know if uh <laughs> if hookworm is good for getting in the swing of things but we will we will keep it we will keep it and we're gonna dodge roll around. Does this give you invincibility frames? I don't know. Okay, so we can actually try to find a secret room. There's strategy. More, it's, there's more of a pattern. So we know that it was probably gonna be there because, uh, okay, well. Because it connects to the most rooms. So we got that. Bomb that open. Go down, go down, we fight the boss. How to jump? Should we? Yeah, let's. See. Who cares? It's Larry Jr. We should be just fine. We can tr try to bomb him. I think he's pretty susceptible to bombs, isn't he? And so far, so fine. The zigzag shots are kind of rough to get used to, but if we're gonna miss a lot of the shots, it's not gonna be worth the tiny little upgrade it gets. The reason I want to have it is because it's a little, a little bit on the wackier side. Oh god, no! God, no! We didn't even, even use our jump. Toothpicks. There we go. Shot speed up. I remember liking toothpicks quite a bit. There's a lot more, like, simple... Simplistic items in this game that are just, uh, like, nice... Just nice gets. They're satisfying... Just satisfying to have. Just making sure... There's nothing I missed. Been a while. Okay, okay. We're not guaranteed health upgrades every every floor for beating bosses. 
That's a, that's a gungeon. That's a gungeon. Let's go down to the next floor here. We won't be able to go that far since this is going to be the fir technically the first ever run on this file. There's you much like Gungeon and other roguelikes, there is more more of the game unlocked as you progress. So we're just going to we're going to basically get like the the Gungeon equivalent of the the high dragon or something. No no lich, no pass, no nothing. We got to work <laughs> work hard to get there. I'm going to have to oh shoot. Oh, we got hit. That's right. Deal with the devil chance is gone. Ah, oh, shoot. That's a pretty big deal. That's a pretty big deal, if I remember correctly. Uh, for those not familiar with the with Binding of Isaac, there's a chance to get a deal with the devil at the end of the floor after the boss if you have not taken any red heart damage. It's kind of the, like, I guess that's the, that's the equivalent of the, um, whoop. Get over there. Who of the master rounds in Gungeon? Hmm. Is sort of the 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 be good get good stuff kind of scenario. Like be good get health upgrades in Gungeon. This it's be good get crazy strong items that you have to sacrifice your health for. So it's a little bit more of a more of a risk reward situation. But we got hit. So you can see on the left the upside down cross. There, we have a 36% chance of getting a deal with the devil at the end of the floor right now. There's other ways where we can get that chance up and other things we can do to protect ourselves from losing that chance. But that's a that's a big, big thing that to, to try to make happen. Well, see, as we get a couple episodes in this, I will stop talking about the basics of basics. But I'm, I'm just as much saying it to, to inform new players as I am to, like, kind of refresh myself. It's it's, an, it's a, a big friend I have, the Binding of Isaac, but it's it's a big semi-old friend at this point. We can jump away, but we kind of need to get a running start. The hookworm, kind of stinky in here. Gotta say, not my favorite in this room. Gotta look for tinted rocks. All right, what about, uh, what about a secret room? Oh, shoot. It would be, like, what? Here? Butimus. So we could place a bomb here, get a decent amount of money, right? Or are we going to get none? And increased our, um, our deal with the devil chance blowing up that boy. Bomb our way in here. Well, wait a minute. Wait. Okay. Is this a good one? Because there is a reroll machine, so you can put in a certain amount of money or bomb it to reroll the item if you don't like it. Is this proptosis or is this proptosis? So we get giant tears with a shorter range. I'm into it. I'm into it because it's wacky. Is it good? I don't remember. I think the general rule of thumb is to not go into the shop unless you have 15 coins. And even then, it might not be the smartest of things to do. I think before we do anything, let's go fight the boss. Oh man, I'm so glad we got a, we made ourselves a dodge roll. Uh, if we don't get hit here, there's a 50%-ish chance we'll get the deal with the devil anyways, even though we, we bungled it. It's Monstro. He not bad. He's our ah. Uh, he's our trigger twins. Holy moly! I think we're good. I think we're good. Bye, boy. Forty-six percent. Monster Tooth appeared in the basement, and we got ourselves an HP up, and we're starting to look pretty messed up. Okay, let's get these fires out of the way because these ones do shoot at us. I do remember that much. I don't know, do, is Rotten Baby okay? Multi-dimensional or trans-dimensional, multi-dimensional baby, easy okay? I don't know. Let's pick this up because this is another way to keep, uh, or, or no, what? A, never mind. I, I, there, there's devil rooms and there's also angel rooms. I, I remember that. How exactly do they function? I think it's based off of like your evilness or, or goodness and I think that picking up deal with the devil items 
makes it so you're more likely to get Arr! deals with the devil in the future instead of deals with the angel. Are deals with the angel good now? I don't know. I have, I'm I'm behind the times. Like I said, we're we're learning together. I'm relearning. Just make your familiars larger and deal more damage. Yep, 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 yep. That's what it does. Me and Rotten Baby. So is there like health around? We have a half heart in this sh in the exit over here. So I think so far so good. I think we got a pretty decent run of brewing. We got the little rotten baby mixed with our large shots. Oh man. Trap room. Good. Good, good. I think it might be uh might be like Gungeon in the sense where there are harder rooms that do sort of start to show up over time, like as you play more of the game. So we might be getting baby boy rooms? I don't know. I don't know. All, all I know is like, I've, I'm feeling at home. I'm feeling at home. We missing any tinted rocks? Probably. You better believe I'm the kind of guy that's gonna miss them. Try to bomb some mushrooms for pills, which give you random status effects, good or bad. Or, also, there's some other items in there, too. Like, per permanent upgrade items. What the little heart on her head? That's adorable! Is that from the friend your friend's rule, the BFF? Let's do bomb. Let's just, uh, Why not? That's why not, because there's nothing there. <gasps> okay. There could be a secret room... Three for three. That's one thing I gotta say. I do like that about Isaac. The, uh, the way that you can, like, actually more reliably pinpoint where secret rooms are gonna be. Like, you can tell in other, in other roguelites, but, uh, sometimes there's floors that just don't have them in other ones, and it's just, like, I, I like the consistency of it. I like that it's there, and I like that you can generally pick it up. Oh, and I know there's two secret rooms. I messed it up. I didn't even need to get those, but... Oh, well. Let's fight the boss while we still have this, uh, this soul heart, which kind of acts like armor. It will also act like armor for our deal with the devil chance. If we get hit and the damage that is lost is from this, we st Ah, we still get to keep our 33% chance. Oh my goodness. This is getting stinky. This is getting stinky. Two eyes around. My, my, my boy. 33% chance though. I, doesn't look like, nope. Cracker Jacks. Okay, so that gives us a health upgrade and a trinket. Is it our shot speed? It looks like it might be... I think it is the speed. I think it is the speed. In that case, I don't care that much. Let's go, let's get ourselves basic again. We'll try it out. This gives us the ability to walk on spikes. You can only have one trinket at a time. Want to deal damage up close. This is basically snow bullets, and by that I mean snow bullets is basically this. Are we not going to be able to get our? We're not going to be able to get our item room, unless maybe there's something good in here. Give me something good. Oh man, I think we're bungled. Don't have a bomb. I think we got to accept it. We got to move on. That's okay. I mean we're. 
pretty strong as is. Goodbye, worm. We go in normal. We're already over halfway there. To the end of our current current run, as far as we can go at this point. You got. Okay. Thank you, Key. So I probably shouldn't have. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say. I was gonna say we shouldn't have spent that key on the shop on the first floor because item rooms are pretty dang important. But at the same time, big friend or best friends forever, the big the big follower thing. Seems like it might be helping us out quite a bit. The flies are kind of rocking their worlds. Double keys, yes please. This is a room we can only enter if we're at half a heart or one one heart, one heart or half heart, one of the two. Not now. Ah, duh, bungled. Bungled, bungled. There goes our deal with the devil chance, too. Okay. It's not the only thing that matters, but I remember liking liking the items from there a ton. I mean, there's a lot of crazy, crazy run, run changingly strong items in there. Let's we'll try. Pretty fly, we got a little familiar. A permanent little familiar there. It's an orbital orbital that's gonna block bullets from reaching us there. I like it, I like it. Hoo-wee! Let's get it! Prayer card. This gives us the holy hearts or whatever. So basically, if we take that to the next floor, it turns into a health upgrade. You know what, it's probably gonna beat how to jump. But if we get hit, it goes away. If you get two of those hearts on the same floor, it just automatically turns into a health upgrade. The way that active items work in this game, by the way, is the little notches in the, the upper left there. When they get, like you get one after clearing a room and when they get filled up, then you can use the item again. There's some like how to jump that don't have that. Ooh, they just are based off of time. But yeah, we're gonna wanna try real hard to not get hit. So we can, I don't think we can squeeze out two health upgrades though. So I probably should've just waited till the end of the floor. So I could guarantee, oh, that gave us two charges. I guess cause it's a, it's a big boy, a big boy room. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter if we, uh, if we get hit or not. Cause I, we're not gonna be able to get an extra, an extra heart container at this point. I guess, unless we get a battery. Batteries will refill it all the way up. Forgot about that. Nope. Run, run. Okay, don't get hit, and then we just can get ourselves a little guaranteed health upgrade. Why not? Boom. There we go. Yeah, health upgrades in this game are less guaranteed than a game like, uh, like Gungeon. Oh, ah, shoot. There goes that. Deal with the devil. It's less guaranteed, but you could have a run where you ball out of control in the health department. Let's get that fly a brewin. Ooh. Get him with the fly. Thank you. Some of these guys are called... Ooh, different things too. Oh boy. That means they have like a little extra effect to him. I this one is either that he drops a bomb or no. He explodes into bullets. Greed! You are not a shop. Son of a gun. I don't know if there's any more shops left in the in the run. Don't recall. Tinted? Rock tinted, rock tinted, tinted rock. Yeah. I'm sure I've missed one. I don't think there has to be one on every floor, but I think statistically there should be. Okay, that was, yeah, that was how to jump. 
Oh, it's good to be back. I just wanted to switch things up a little bit. Get play something familiar but different. It's a dang good game. If I could int like, let me know. Question of the day. Question of the day. If you are brand new here, or no, if you are not brand new here, if you are here from Gungeon, and only Gungeon, and have not heard of Binding of Isaac, or never watched Binding of Isaac, please let me know. I want to know. Because that would be, that'd be, to me that's, that would be wild, because I, like, Binding of Isaac, the original Flash one was what set off my, um, excitement with roguelikes. Roguelites. Sorry. There is a difference. There is a difference. It's just an easy slip of the tongue. Don't really want to get hit. Ah! But it's not going to matter that much because we weren't going to get a deal with the devil. But we have a lot of red health to play around with, so a deal with the devil would have been a banger. Gonna get these. What is that blinking? What does that blinking mean? Little chubby appeared in the basement. HP up. Okay. We also get... What is that? What is that stat there? The... The fourth one there. Is that... The height? Like how high up our bullets are? I don't know. Man, I don't know. We could go in... Hurt ourselves quite a bit and get into that boss challenge room. I think I'm gonna pass on that. Seems too risky. There's a little timer there. I I know there's boss rush, but I thought that was just a later thing. Maybe if we book it. Oh, I'm going for it. Okay. So now we gotta go through a bunch of waves here. Okay. Hopefully without taking damage. There we go, we got that too. We got a nice little armor effectively. Protect that chance. Protect that chance. I'm glad I don't completely suck. Like, I'm glad I didn't die already. That is great. <laughs> Friends till the end. Gives us a little temporary orbital. Tears down. Ah, our fire rate just went down. There's a tinted rock. Ah! Lost, <laughs> lost a hit going for it. Kind of ironic, right? So every time you try the pill... Oh boy. This is not permanent. Every time you try the pill, you will permanently unlock what the, uh, for the run permanently. Unlock what, uh, the pill is. I don't know what that is. What is that item? There's a bunch of items from, like, booster packs, like little DLC updates that came out after, after the game that I am not familiar with at all. And this could be one of them. Shard of Glass. Blood and Guts. Oh, that's right, we don't, don't need to worry about that. I don't know what happened to it. I mean, I don't know what it does. There's no ammo Namacon. So I'm gonna need to, need to get, a, get a wiki out or something. Oh, not that it matters, because we do have the callous toes. Probably a banger of an item for me. No. Yeah, I don't know. When, when does the new update come out? I don't, like, I just checked before this. Who? To try to get uh, some info on it. Oh, we got Maggie. We unlocked a new character. We got some challenges. All right, all right. Let's go in here. Worth it, right? Could be something good in here, but we do take damage by going in and out. Whatever. We're tough, boys. All right. That sucked. Not a fan of this room. Not a fan of this room. Hey. So we drop help. Oh. Oh. Don't want to get hit again because then we lose... Our 100% deal with the Devil Chance, which we would love. Because we have so many health containers. I'm stressed. And we could turn those health containers into raw power. Maximum power. 
Wall spider. Wall crawler. Big, big poop boy. Okay, I thought he was gonna charge at me. Does he not charge? Please charge. Oh. God, I'm so stressed. It's like, we're not gonna lose if I get hit, but I just think of the cool stuff we could get. Stay away from me, head. We are out of our... What is this one? Toxic blood. I don't know. Like, is, the, is that the bullet speed? I'm not, sh I'm not sure which one of those is which. I'll have to look that up. Oh, we're going to get hit here, aren't we? They are the worm ones and not the... Uh, uh, the laser boys. I think I'm worse at dealing with the ladies, boys. That is Cursed Eye, isn't it? It's an item that makes so you charge up. It's a, it's a bad idea for me to get. It makes it so you charge up your bullets and unleash them in a burst, but if you get hit, I'll take that, that's just a damage up. If you get hit while you're charging up, you get teleported out of the room you're in. Not for me, I don't think. This, however, that is for me. I'll take that. And we can't drop items, so you pick it up, it's with you. It's yours for life. We're pretty strong now. We're like really quite strong. <gasps> I mean, I, I got this... In the back of my head, I'm more worried to get hit than I probably should be because this game is a lot freer with health and hits than <laughs> Enter the Gungeon is. Like you, you can get hit a lot, a lot, a lot, and it it won't necessarily matter. It could. But it's def definitely a lot more forgiving in that in that way. Ooh, you're more likely to get like wacky items than uh, something like End of the Gungeon. Ooh, boy. All right. I mean, we're basically in the clear. We're going to get that deal with the devil for sure, aren't we? Ah, shouldn't have said it. Oh, wait. So on this floor now, when we get hit, we take a full heart of damage, don't we? Is that the thing? Okay. Deal with the devil. And we get another health up. And we don't even get to buy an item. We don't even get to buy an item. Oh, shucks. Should we like go try to get something else out of the shop? Let's do that. Let's try to re-roll it. The jar is okay. Bogo bombs. I'll take it. So now every time we get a bomb, we get two bombs? Or every time we pick up a... Every time a bomb is dropped, it drops two bombs. There we go. That's what it is. Cha-ching. <laughs> oh, man. Hundred... Like a couple hundred hours? It's amazing, like, the weird mix I have going on in my, in my head. We're not going to mom's heart, are we? It's just mom. The, our final boss is our mother. Our own mama. But I, yeah, I think I think that's as far as we get. But after this one time here, let's, we're gonna be swimming in bombs. Let's. Uh oh. Let's start blowing up some stuff. Starting with this rock. <laughs> A little bit of armor in my life. Coward. Faith up. I don't remember what faith does. I think it's... I mean, this is just a no-brainer. Easy math. I think the uh, faith up maybe... Increases your chance to get... Yeah, let's do this. Let's start donating. We got a ways to go. 
We got a long ways to go. They made it so it speeds up after you start donating a little bit. That's a, that's nice. Uh, it used to take forever to donate stuff. At some point in the long future, if this... I mean, I, if this series sticks around. Let me know if you guys are interested in this series, by the way. Like, if you made it to this point and you're enjoying yourself, either hit the like button or tell uh, tell me in the comments. Like, because I, it, I know it's... It's not like, I don't know, that unique of, of a series for the, the channel. I've done it before and it fits within the theme. I just, are you guys interested in this? Do you, you like Binding of Isaac? You made it this far in the video, I assume so. Let me know, be heard. So we have to spend a key to get in, right? Yeah. Tears down. Don't really want it. Believe it or not. Not interested. But we can't drop it, can we? You can. You hold on control. Okay, okay. Just so we don't have it and uh, use it accidentally. Envy. And he drops a troll bomb for us. Thank you. Just what I wanted. I'm so glad that I have the enemy patterns memorized still. <laughs> that would be pretty rough. Okay, so we can cheese, not cheese it, but like you can really start to pop off if you use batteries right. That's one thing I, I definitely really, really like is the game lets you, it lets you break it. I like that a lot. It's I find it super respectful. We'll come back for that. But the game is just like, it's totally fine with like one in every 15 runs just being, just being broken, like in your favor. It's cool with that. And I, and I like it. I like it. We're going to get so many health up. We're going to have max health when we fight mom. it going to be easy peas. I'm glad this first run is almost, at least at this point, almost definitely going to be a victory. Like, did we get crazy stuff? I don't think this anything we have is like ridiculously good, but it's I think it's all all together stacked upon each other very well to create something quite strong. We're not unstoppable, but we are in a really really good spot. Not to mention <laughs> the health upgrades are pretty dumb. that get that god it's a shame we can only go to mom but you know I just I thought it was a it's a good time it's been so 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 long since the last Isaac and everybody <laughs> like almost everybody here is probably from Gungeon at this point so it's just unless you're new if so if you found me from Isaac awesome I like roguelikes I like roguelites I like them all hermit teleports us away Lemon party, peas on the floor, you know. Yeah, the hermit teleports us to the starting, the starting room, or is it the shop? Don't remember. Teleports us away somewhere. Tiny planet. All right, let's get wacky. Is tiny planet good? I don't. Remember if it has any positives to go with the wackiness it provides, but... A blue map's appeared in the basement. But I'm all for the wacky. I'm all for the wacky. Increase our deal with the devil chance by 2.5% there. Big gains. We could go to... This doesn't really matter because we're about to fight Bomb, but... Even more of a reason to just... Let's go in on this. That was a dumb idea. I forgot. Okay, so the hermit does take you to the shop. I just didn't want to take the damage from leaving the room because I kind of want to have this protection in case I'm wrong about this being the final boss for us right now. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know that this is going to work that well with proptosis. We're giving it a go. 
Looks like the bullets are pretty high up in the air though, so the good thing about this is that they do seem to be going over the rocks. If we fire backwards, it looks like we're gonna maybe have a better chance of hitting where we want with the proptosis. Okay, get away. Yo! Wait, what? where did we take the damage from there? What was that? Which part? Ah! Okay, we're at full health, doesn't matter. We all good, we all good. We got bombs, let's throw them around. Let's throw bombs around. Play with bombs, we're not hitting anything with them. That's fine! I have an itchy nose! That's not fine! Ah, oh, we won, okay. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her god, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else. Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. No, mama! But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop <laughs> his mother's hand. And just like that, it was Ta da! Over. We beat Isaac! Thank goodness! The game's over! There's no other, no further objectives. All right. We unlocked the womb and the purest challenge and the XXXXXXL challenge and speed challenge and have a heart challenge, pride day challenge, own and streak challenge, the guardian, oh boy, April's fool. Horsemen are loose, Cuban meat is appeared in the basement. We got a lot, a lot of stuff there. But anyways, that is gonna do it for today. We unlocked Maggie. <laughs> we will have to uh, do a couple wonky things to unlock some of the characters again here. Make three deals with the devil in one game. That shouldn't be hard. Be or beating two levels without taking damage. We can do that. Not picking up hearts for two levels. We can do that too. All right. Anyway, so that's gonna do it for today. Thank you everybody for watching. Subscribe for Rogue Lights. Subscribe for Biony of Isaac <laughs> to be notified when it goes up. And please, please, please let me know what you think of the series and if you want to see more on the channel alongside Enter the Gungeon. Thank you everybody for watching, thank you, thank you! See you next time!